Hi, and welcome to your reading today. We're going to see what's going on with your person in this connection. And you're going to have three options. The first is option number one, which is my deck, which is the Cosmic Tarot that I created. There is the Light Lightseer's Way Tarot, and there is the Rider Way Radiant Tarot. And so I'm just going to hold this here for a moment and go by your intuition. We're going to take a look and see some messages, what's going on with your person, what's going on from your person's perspective in regards to this connection, and we're going to get started in just a moment. Hi, and welcome to your reading. I'm Rainy, Rainy, well, Rainy. <laughs> I'm Rainy Wells. I'm sorry for the distraction. Um, there are some people playing some good Calypso music next door, so I hope you can enjoy it while I do this, your reading. You've picked the Cosmic Tarot. We're going to see what's happening with your person in this connection and where they're currently at. And we're going to um, take a look at some messages and overall where they're at in this connection and moving towards you. So let's see for pile number one, Spirit. What is going on with pile number one's person? What is going on in their connection towards the viewer? What is going on with pile number one towards the viewer, please, Spirit? What is going on with pile number one towards the viewer? What is going on with pile number one's person? We have betrayal, so I'm feeling that um, they're feeling a lot of guilt and shame right now about a betrayal. But this isn't always, some people look at this as a very, um, Ten of Swords as a very um, negative card. I see it as a very positive card in certain instances is that there's no way, there's nowhere else to go but up. And so <laughs> this person realizes that they've done the betrayal, but I feel that they're on the rise up and they're noticing that they have to um, come forward. What else about person in pile number one towards the viewer? Okay, so we also have that they, they've completely halted things in their life. They may have halted the connection with you um, because of the, and betrayed you. Um, they're feeling really guilty about this, as I was saying, because they are seeing clearly. They're not confused anymore about this connection. They pretty much know what they want, um, but they're, they're, they haven't moved yet. What about pile number one, please? We have union. We have the four of wands. So I really feel this person is really wanting to come forward, but they don't know how to yet. They're at a ten of swords. Um, <laughs> but again, see, they, this has helped them. Whatever betrayal happened in your connection, I'm feeling that it gave them the opportunity to become very stable um, in themselves. And this is they're on the rise. They're on the rise. That's really what I was feeling. They may have halted things. Um, in their life, yeah, with a, a previous connection and family patterns. Um, but I feel like this person is really kind of getting ready to move forward now because they do see things clearly here. They really do see things clearly. How do you want this to fall? Yeah, King of Swords. So they they see very clearly um, of how to move forward. I didn't want to take it in the challenge direction. I don't do that always, but I flip it again to ask spirit and they know that they have to communicate and come forward. And I feel like this person is, is somewhat really ready to do this. Um, they know that the only way to go is up and they're putting a halt on a connection for this. Uh, they're coming close to a finish line of ending things in their old life to come forward to you. Yeah. They have a, a foundation that, um, that they, they may have had that they're very unhappy in, but I feel like they're coming close to the end of um, ending that for this Ten of Cups here. So let's clarify this Ten of Swords with this King of Pentacles, please. Yeah, they have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So they haven't moved forward yet. They are still somewhat thinking about this betrayal, but they're <laughs> they're coming around. They're coming around to it. Um, yeah, they have a lot of passion for you. They're feeling you. They know there's a lot of passion here. They know that they um, may not have treated you properly, but they've gained the stability now in order to move forward. They're just looking at how and when to move forward. Um, that's why they're not actioning anything as of yet. They're still contemplating on the how. They put a halt in a certain connection here is what I'm seeing. Could have been a marriage could have been it's an attachment a codependent attachment um this person is still attached and they're holding strength in this connection with uh, a third party for some of you could be a work 
um, situation, a family business, or it could be something to do with family patterns or a past marriage and paying support and being stuck in that situation. Um, they're putting a halt to something um, that was getting in the way of your connection is what I'm hearing. And they're really looking at um, the instability that this has, that it's going to cause in their life right now. So this is why they have an action because I don't feel that they've completely sorted that out. This person has made a decision about you and they do want to come forward and, and communicate, but they're not out of the woods yet is what I'm seeing. Seven of Cups in reverse. They, they see clearly, but they haven't yeah, they're still abandoned. They're still left out of a cold um, because they're not quite ready to offer something, anything for this reunion. They want a reunion. They want, um, it could be still a three of cups situation, but they still feel left out because they know that this would still be a third party situation. So um, they're not quite, they know what they want. They, I feel a decision has been made. They're just trying to figure those things out now. Give me one more on that, please, Spirit. Yeah, see, they're still contemplating with the Two of Wands. So they're trying to figure out how to move from past to future. And they know that this Four of Wands is what they want because um, this union, they know that where they're at is not their happiness, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So they're getting close. They're getting close to their empress <laughs> they know they're unhappy without you so this person has made a choice about you they know it's you that they want they're not wavering anymore about that now it's just figuring out and planning towards you okay yeah the queen of cups here uh and their destiny the star in reverse they're not healing without you because you're their feeling they feel you they love you they want you um and without you they don't have a destiny they know that they want this with the divine feminine um and so that's where they're currently at let's see what else for um let's pull some romance angels and see what else is going on here for pawn number one, please. What is going on with pawn number one's person in this connection, Spirit? What is going on with this person in pawn number one in their connection, please, Spirit? What is going on with pawn number one with their person, please, Spirit? What is going on with pawn number one? So they're not quite moving forward yet. Um, yeah, they're, they're trying to pay attention to the red flags in their life. They're at a iffy point in their life especially if they're trying to end something and move forward um that's why they're not actioning they're gaining their, their stability right um it's it's family patterns it's a marriage it's uh, a family business for some and they oh look at this exactly as i'm saying they want this new love with you but they have to heal this family stuff first Okay, so that's a huge validation right there, guys. Okay, so they know what they want, but they know that they have to heal this first before they can move forward. So this is why they're not also not communicating with you if you're in separation. And they're trying to keep an open mind to the religious stuff. You do defer. There may be some differences here, maybe why they betrayed you, why they moved away. I almost feel that this person in the past couldn't see how it would actually work. Um, not because there was with somebody else, but because maybe your viewpoints on spirituality it could be from two different religions, could be from two different cultures. Um, it could be that you have a different way of connecting to source when they meditate, when they pull tarot, one may be super religious, one might be a minister, one might be a Hindu, whatever it is, there's something that's happening here that spirit is bringing through that these differences can actually be more complementary. And I think your person is starting to realize that they're starting to see things a lot clearly of their betrayal in the past to this connection and why they may have left because they were looking at it from a, such a surface level and now they're starting to see things a lot more clearly they do know that they're not happy without you and they want a reconciliation wow look at this pile number one so beautiful they definitely want a reconciliation with you i almost feel that let me see they were having some emotional issues. I found my emotional warrior, wounded warrior deck. Let's see what emotions they're dealing with right now. What emotions is pile number one's person working through so that they can ascend to come towards pile number one, please, spirit? What is pile number one's person currently trying to work through in their emotions, please, spirit, to ascend 
to come towards the viewer in pile number one, please. nomadic childhood. So what this could be is that this person may not have had a good foundation growing up. They could have moved around a lot, but it could also be that they've had a lot of abandonment, that people weren't there for them, that they had to kind of take care of themselves. Um, it could have been that they were on the move a lot. They, they didn't have the stability that they desired. And um, that's why they just ran so quickly from you. And they're seeing that the betrayal that was done to them in their own childhood has been, it's what they've repeated in their, well, let's wait, 20, in their life. Um, this fell on the ground, so they'll take the one that fell on the ground. It's vanity. So it really, their ego towards you uh, had to do with a lot of their inner child childhood wounds of their own abandonment issues, making friends in one place and then leaving and not ever having any place to fit in. And um, that's why they've always settled with where they were at. And Spirit is really bringing through that um, they want something else now. Let's use the angel answers. What is going on with Paul One's person towards them, Spirit? What is going on with Paul One's person towards them, Spirit? What is going on with Paul One's person towards them, Spirit? What is going on with Paul One's person towards them? They're definitely choosing you, pile number one, okay? They're just trying to work out a lot of other stuff. Um, what I'm seeing here is, okay, they're meditating. They're trying to gain clarity now, okay? Um, they're choosing a new direction in their life, and they're not stopping. So right now, I don't see it unlikely that they may come. They may communicate in a friendship basis, but they may not communicate. Um, they're not stopping, though. They're very determined, okay, to get through this. They want you. It's unlikely right now at this point um, that things may not be happening because they're still dealing with a lot of other stuff from their past and family issues. Let's see why they won't right now, why this unlikely is here. Why is this unlikely here for pile number one with their person? What is, <laughs> my cards are everywhere. What is going on with pile number one here with this unlikely? Yeah, they're having a lack of confidence. They see they're having a lot of concern about their stability. That's what they're working on with this King of Pentacles. They know that they're gaining their stability. That's why they can't move forward, right? They're gaining it, but they know that they're working on that. So they're on the upswing. They feel bad about it. They're on the upswing. They know that whatever the cause of betrayal, they want to come through and work on it. See, this is the poverty mindset, the lack mentality. And that's from childhood, not having that stability, not being able to uh, build in their own life. The community, their concern, okay, about community, how things are going to look, what they've built up right now. Um, they're thinking about you all the time, but I love seeing the official person because that means that they're going to be like a boss and they're going to take action in this. So I really feel that nothing's going to stop your person. They definitely want this reconciliation. They're just looking at how to plan things out. So let's take a look a little bit further and see how they are looking to plan things out. How are they looking to come towards um, planning in order to come towards Pal One? What is going on with Pal One's person so that they can plan to come towards Pal One? What are they working on? They're working through their doubts and getting off a path so that they can offer you something for sure. So the first card that came up, I didn't see it. <laughs> seven of sword they're planning okay so uh they might be a little bit sneaky right now because they have to be but they're looking at how to plan how to kind of work around their situation nothing's turning right now okay not the wheel hasn't turned yet because they're just trying to get off the path page of wands in reverse with the wheel of fortune in reverse they're working through a lot of their own doubts right now to make this happen so that they can come forward um in regards to offering you something with the knight of cups now these doubts I think it's just doubts of their current foundation is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, the truth. Their doubts of the truth and how to communicate the truth to whoever they have to cut ties with is what I'm getting because it's... Um, Well, karmic energy right there okay so there's a karmic here that they have to really speak some hard truth to before they can offer it to you so they may not have told this person yet but things aren't good in that situation but they're definitely um realizing that they have to um be very clear about uh how they communicate this 
and um, to make sure everything is kosher and they're planning and getting off this path. So they're putting the work in right now behind the scenes before they can come forward. All right, let's get some messages from your person to you. Let's clear this off. Let's get some messages for you guys. This is my mirrored messages deck that we are going to use. Let's take a look for pile number one. So I'm just gonna move all this to the side. This is my mirrored messages deck. So let's take a look. What is pile number one's person like to say to them, please? What would pile number one's person like to say to them? We're gonna see if they're predominantly in their masculine energy or in their feminine energy. Good messages on both sides. And then we will take a look and see what the feminine response or masculine's response is to them. What is this pile one's person like to say to them? Spirit, what messages does pile one person have? Well, they're really feeling the divine feminine energy, okay? So they're connected to their feminine on the inside. They're all black. And um, they want to say, our activation changed so much inside of me and in my exterior world. I didn't realize how powerful this was until now. Okay, so these are for those that have already met and have had an activation, okay? They're definitely feeling the divine feminine energy, Okay, and in response, the masculine energy is saying, it's taking me a long time to sort out the energies that came from our activation. Okay, so they're definitely feeling how much their feelings and their emotions have changed. And the divine masculine is, is also feeling the same about how long it's taken to sort those, that out. Your person to you. I'm feeling more like myself and not obsessing as much as before. So this person has definitely great, got, gotten that stability, that King of Pentacles, right? They've gained a stability. They know where they're headed. They're just in the planning stages. And the masculine energy towards the feminine, our love is magic. It's what songs and poems are written about. <laughs> I love that. I love you. And what is it here, Divine Feminine? I can't stop thinking about you. It's like you are here beside me. It's driving me a bit bonkers. So this masculine is definitely feeling his feminine, okay, beside him. And Divine Masculine towards the feminine on the inside. Feminine, I'm reminiscing. I'm reminiscing about us. Okay, beautiful messages, Pub One. If you would like a detailed reading, take a look down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for being here. Bye, guys. Hello, pile number two. This is the Light Searways deck. This is your reading. We're going to take a look and see what is going on with your person. I'm sorry if you hear my children downstairs. They are homeschooled. This is a pretty big, airy house, so you hear echoing quite a bit. Um, what is going on with pile? Sorry, guys. Hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> they're watching a movie. I think they're done school. I think it was an early release today. So they're like freaking out watching. I think they're watching Indiana Jones. Anyways, what's going on with pile number two's person? What is going on with pile number two's person in this connection? How are they viewing the viewer, please? Pile number two. What is going on with pile number two's person? If you guys like what you see, I am open for readings for June. So all that info is down below. What is going on for pile number two's person towards the viewer? What is going on with this connection right now, Spirit? What is going on with this person, please? We have the Queen of Cups. They're definitely um, feeling uh, the feminine energy right now. Um, we have Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. This person, I feel, is... Um, definitely feeling the divine feminine energy is definitely in a place of emotions and they're definitely in a place of wanting to seek more um they're working on you may want to watch pile number one it's very similar they're looking at their stability right now but they're actually getting really deep within themselves and a lot is being revealed to them right now so let's take a look at the queen of cups here let's cl clarify the queen of cups we've got two we have the, the star with the four of wands in reverse. So I feel this person wants to end um, 
separation. They're feeling divine feminine energy. They want to end separation. Um, things aren't healing in their life as well. They feel they may have completed a healing cycle and they want to move towards their destiny. They definitely want to seek more. This is very much similar to part one. You may be able to watch part one. Um, they definitely want to seek more and communicate from their heart towards pile two. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. There's another Divine Feminine Energy with the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, sorry, in reverse. So they're letting their guard down, okay? They are definitely, the, the page communication is a little bit immature. Um, it's a little bit... Um, Abrupt can be a little bit of harsh communication may not be what you're seeking, but they know that they have to come forward and do this. They could also be stalking you and looking at you, but it's about more of discovering more it's curiosity, um, wanting to try and take that leap of faith with you or see where the communication goes to. And they see you as this beautiful, you know, emotional, abundant, nice balance between your emotions and grounding your energy. So they definitely like that. We have two counterparts here. We have the king and queen of pentacles. Could be also an interracial couple. Um, could be uh, from different backgrounds, different locations. Could be distance between you guys as well is what I'm picking up here. And um, let's clarify here the high priestess. What is going on with the high priestess? A lot of secrets have been revealed. I feel this person's just gone through a massive transformation. Yeah, they want to bring in karmic justice. So this person has already completed their healing journey. I feel that they've completed what they can to this point and they need to heal deeper. I feel like there's not much left for them to do on their own. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups with the Four of Swords and the, and the Star in reverse. I feel like there's not much they can do on their own. They've become really whole within themselves. Um, they, they're not waiting anymore. Wherever they've been, they're not investing in there. They want to reap the benefits with you, viewer number two. Okay, so they're not investing in um, karmic energies right now, but they're being very clear and precise. They know that you may be a little bit brash when they come forward. They're really heartbroken about you. <sighs> Clarify that heartbreak. It's been a real a lot of drama since you left their life. It's been a lot of drama, and um, this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Swords, please, Spirit, has failed. So that is karmic energy. They're not investing anymore. It's been stuck and it's failed. It's caused a lot of drama between your connection. They're absolutely heartbroken. They want to end the separation and come towards a deeper healing with you. They feel they're ready. They feel like they've, they need you almost is what I'm feeling that they don't think they can do this completely on their own. Um, so just be aware that if they do come forward, they're still in a place of heartbreak. We're going to go a little deeper, but let's take a look. Let's take a look nonetheless. Let's see here. They want to seek more with you and they are definitely letting their heart, their hearts, their guard down in regards to you. They're balancing their emotions. They're not waiting guys. This, this person is on the move. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if you hear something soon for some of you, they definitely are in their king of cups. They're definitely feeling you. They definitely want a reunion. Okay. They have the temperance here, patience, balance, really balancing themselves. They're not waiting. They feel you. I'm so sorry. My kids are really being loud um i'm gonna have to go tell them to be quiet again but i'm sorry about that if you hear that um this is you know they're not waiting anymore they're um they really don't want to wait. They don't want to. They don't want to waste any more time. They want to come forward and see if they can just do something together and heal together in a friendship. Um, they see you as their as their counterpart as well, right? With that, I put this together, so that's funny. So let's clarify the, the couple here. I didn't even realize that that happened. They want a new beginning out of betrayal that they did. Okay, so they're ready to rise up to a new beginning. I love when the ten of swords shows up, especially with the fool, because that means that there's no way. To nowhere to go but up. There's nowhere to go but to ascend, okay? I'm seeing the ascend card. They want the Ten of Cups with you, okay? So that's how it landed. Ten of Cups. They 10, 10, ends of a cycle. Complete cycle. This person's moving quick. Pile number two, okay? They're re things have been revealed. Secrets have been revealed. They want karmic justice. They want to, they've made a decision. They're moving. This person has sorted things out a lot in their situation. They want to return to the past, the world in reverse. And they, they're opening up. Look at this. They're really opening themselves up. So things are coming along. Remember, I, uh, 
Yeah, they've ended a relationship. King of Swords in reverse. Look at this. This is karmic energy here with this Queen of Swords, right? Okay. They It failed, right? It was drama. They completely blocked to it. They're upside down. They're narcissistic. They've ended a relationship to return to the past to come and be with you, pile number two. So, beautiful. Let's take a look at some romance angels. I'm curious about this. Wow, this is really beautiful. Pile number two. What is going on with pile number two's person? This person has done a lot of work is what I'm feeling, pile two. You guys may have been in separation for a little bit. They're super powerful. They may have been really, I, I really feel they have been working on themselves in a really potent way. Let's take a look. What is going on for pile two? So they, they definitely... <laughs> Look at this. They were they may have been stuck in a in a in a wedding or a marriage, but that's coming to an end. Okay. Their attachment to a marriage. Um, I'm feeling that whatever this first pilot, it was dramatic, it was heartbreaking, um, and they're not investing in this anymore. If it was a marriage, if it wasn't a marriage and just a long-term relationship, uh, they're ending that to come forward to marry you. So they're ending all of their addictions. They feel you. They, they, this has failed, okay? We have the failed card with the Queen of Swords, right? So whatever this was, it was codependent, it was an addiction, it caused a lot of drama, it caused a lot of heartbreak, they're not investing it anymore, they wanna end the separation, they're done their healing with this, they've gotten over it, they're over it, they're done with it, they don't want it anymore. They want to seek more with you. We're gonna take a look at this with the balance, okay? They're not waiting anymore, balance, okay? They're letting their guard down. Let's take a look at this. They're letting their guard down and their heart space towards you, pile number two. Yeah, they're done with unrequited love. It was unrequited love in the last relationship. They have romantic feelings towards you. We're getting two cards for each pile here. So they're really done. They want to be with you. They know you're their person. They want the, a new beginning here with you. Okay, we have the, the Fool with the Ten of Swords came out and the Ten of Cups is here as well. They know that you're their ultimate happiness. So this is their action. They're going to action in a playful way. They're going to come across and be very flirty. They're taking no, this person is determined. Your person is not going to take no for an answer. They're, they're a little stubborn. Okay. They know they look, they're working on their finances and career right now. They're building up for you and they've learned how to love themselves first. They've been putting themselves first. They're going to come towards in a very playful way. They're not going to, yeah, again, not take no for an answer. They've ended something, a relationship, right? To be with you. That's a big deal, guys. They're returning to the past. That's why they want you to, they want, they're worth waiting for. Divine timing is working for you. But it's also because they're bringing this karmic justice here. Um, they want the, the trust here, okay? Spirit is saying, pay attention to red flags. This person is very much walking a fine line right now to get out, okay? Um, so you have to wait just a little bit, but they definitely are coming towards you. They're moving very quickly towards you is what I'm seeing. Let's get some more messages here. Let's see what else is happening in regards to their emotions What's kept them um, on the bottom of this deck is whoop, material world and one just fell out. So let's take a look at that. Um, two fell out. But we're not even going to shuffle. We're going to take the ones that fell out. This is their emotions that have been holding them back. Narcissistic family, okay? So they've been dealing with family members, an ex-wife, an ex girlfriend, boyfriend, family, whatever it is, emotionally unavailable parents or guardians, a completely narcissistic family um, that they don't know the depth of what this person feels. And so everything that happened here, that codependency that they were attached to, they've realized they can't invest in that anymore. This is why they are moving towards you. Let's do the Kipper deck. Um, they know what unrequited love feels like now. In comparison, they had to know that, right? They had to know in the separation what it was like with you, what it was like with them, so they can kind of weigh their options here. That's what this karmic justice was about. That's why the separation had to happen. That's why they're ending it now, because they're like, wow, that was some dark shit. What the hell was that? I didn't even realize that that wasn't love at all. 
they have broken through some really deep illusions is what i'm hearing they're really working on their divine time they're working they're working on themselves as my spirit is saying it's going to take some divine timing because they're looking at all the red flags of codependency in their life right now the signs are cautioning them that they may not have been coming forward right away they're definitely on their way um, they have plans to move forward. It's not going to be like tomorrow. Maybe some of you might hear tomorrow. Oh my God, I got a text. But the, the plans are in motion. They're, they're, they've they're made up their mind. This person is a little bit more ahead than pile number one, that they're actually ready to move forward. What's going on for pile number two, please, with their person? The lovers, guys, can't make that up. Could be a child involved, but it's healing their inner child. They have concerns about children. Okay, it may be, whoa. This is too much. <laughs> um, I'll show you what came up so far. The lovers is the first thing that came up. They definitely know what they want. Okay. They may be dealing with concerns over a child with their narcissistic family. Okay. So that's probably why this has been a, a really hard with them balancing this finances and career. And it's really teaching them that they have to love themselves first. They're realizing they don't, I don't think your person has a lot of like support around them. Okay, they've been really having to go with this on their own, but that's what's helped them move very quickly through this narcissistic stuff and to know what true love really is. Pile two towards the viewer. Yeah, they're in despair. They want to message you. Look at that. That's what I was saying. They want to communicate with you. They want. To, they're waiting. They're waiting for a payout. So if they're going through a law, uh, something, um, selling of a house or a divorce. They're waiting to get their money back or they're realizing that they're going to have to pay somebody out. Something is that they're waiting for. So uh, they're in despair of how long this is taking because this person is ready. Is this person ready to move forward? Because I see the message part. Is this person ready to move towards pile two? Yeah, they hold this in a high honor. They're definitely ready to move forward. Okay. Is this person ready to move towards pile two? lack consciousness poverty they're leaving something behind but they know they, they have to gain the, the awareness here between these two coming out they may not be ready right now they may have to take a loss is what i'm getting to move forward they may have to take a loss financially to move forward for some of you poverty yeah because of a courtship that created a lot of mental health bad health physical health issues um it's caused a lot of problems in their life. Okay. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> let's see what else for, uh, for pile two here in regards to why is there a weight here, spirit that there's despair? Why is there a slight weight before they come towards pile two? Why are they still waiting here? Yeah. They're still dealing with some painful aspects of their past here. Why are they still in pain? They're so worried about something. Why are they so worried? I feel like they're ready to move forward, but it's like they get little hiccups along the way and that they have to kind of move uh, through it. That's why these red flags are coming up for them in their life. Um, yeah, because they're still attached to the, uh, the family pattern. So this narcissistic family and the pain that they're causing is really putting your parent, your person under. Um, they're trying to really move for, through it. They're getting stuck in certain places that so they are going to come. They are learning to love themselves through it. Okay. So they're ready. Once something clears up, what is it that needs to clear up? Something needs to clear up here. Divine feminine, because some of them, some, some people may be quite against this connection in pile number two. There's been a lot of people that have been involved. I don't think it's just a karmic person. I think it's a karmic family. <laughs> um, I feel it's like a whole tribe that's against pile number two. So they're all kind of against this feminine. How is this masculine towards this feminine here? What is he doing to defend this feminine? I feel like this wants to come out. He can't offer, oh yeah, he can't offer anything yet. The Knight of Cups, but... Yeah, he's walking away with the truth. He knows the truth and he's going to walk away and he's going to communicate. So he's not letting anything stop him. This masculine is highly motivated to come forward. Okay, let's see what else for pile number two. What else for pile number two? This person's highly motivated to come towards you, even though he's dealing with a narcissistic family and emotionally unavailable people. He's realizing, wow, these people just don't get it. And so it's actually giving him more brunt to move forward. But that's why um, 
he's made up his mind he's moving without a care in the world uh, but he wants a smooth sailing and there's still some divine timing here in this connection and that's why it's a little slow what is going on for pile two towards their person pile two's person towards them another trust came through pile two so don't doubt okay within the next few weeks something is definitely going to happen here Okay, there is going to be action. This masculine is letting go, taking action and let go. Let go of anything, any doubts right now, pile number two. There, there is action. Take action. Action is happening. Trust, okay, that something is going to happen. Okay, there is going to be success within the next few weeks, okay? So there's definitely momentum happening here. There's definitely something coming towards you let's take a look whoa beautiful pile number two i'm gonna put these away let's take a look and see what messages from your person to you if you guys like this reading and you want to go into more detail don't forget to take a look down below send me an email we can hook you up with a 30 minute reading or a, an, a full hour read unlimited questions <laughs> uh, just send me an email and we'll get you set up let's take a look what is going on for pile two's person in regards to their person what about pile two person? What is the messages that they would like to say? This is my deck called the mirrored, mirrored messages. It's got masculine and feminine messages on both sides. What's going on for pile two's person? What would they like to say to pile two's person? What would they like to say to pile two's person? Okay, we've got four for you. We've got a nice balance going on here, guys. We've got ma divine feminine and masculine being very balanced. No wonder. That's why union is coming in. So this person is feeling you, the feminine, as much as he's he, he or she is feeling themselves, okay? It's masculine energy I usually channel, so it doesn't matter the gender, but I do say he. <sighs> divine masculine. Your person is feeling feminine energy, and when they tap into feminine energy, their message to you I am constantly replaying the past to see what I could have done differently. So they are definitely playing out the past. And the masculine energy's response is, I remember every word you said to me. I'm applying everything you told me to, the, your, to my life. Beautiful. So they definitely know um, what they could have done differently. And they're changing their ways. They're taking Divine Feminine's advice. Um, this masculine is feeling, I knew you instantly and have thought of you every day since. Wow. And the feminine's response, I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't place in my life. You never leave my heart nor my mind. Wow. So you're both thinking of each other all the time, guys. And that should be a validation for you. Divine feminine energy, your person's message to you. You were the missing puzzle piece and you fit so perfectly divine masculine's response i know we are mirrored souls i know we were created as one and the final message of your person in the masculine energy if i could turn back time i know i would have done things differently please forgive my shortcomings oh <laughs> i can feel that divine feminine's response i'm letting go of the past However our paths have unfolded, I'm trusting that it's perfect timing because God created us perfectly together. That's really beautiful, and that's why the divine timing is there, that it is happening, you guys. All right, so much love, pile number two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sending you so much love, and I hope to see you in a reading soon. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. And we're going to get started. We're going to take a look at what your, your person is feeling towards you, pile number three. What's going on with them in this connection and their movement towards you and some messages at the end. If you guys uh, can please hit that like button. It really helps my channel to grow. Don't forget to subscribe. And if along the way you really like this reading and it resonates for you, we can go into more detail. Just send me an email as I am open in June for readings. What is going on for pile number three? Let's take a look, you guys. What's going on for pile number three in regards to their person? Oops, let me get comfortable here. What's going on for pile number three, please? What's going on for pile number three with their person? What's going on with their person right now, please, Spirit? What's going on with their person right now? 
What's going on with the person right now? Can I have one more, please? Thank you. Right. All right, so this person is in a place of doubt right now. We have the judgment in reverse in their mind, but in their heart, they really want to, they're leaving a situation behind is what I'm seeing. They want to offer something. And their action is that they feel a little foolish, um, but they're, they're not able to quite move forward yet or take a leap of faith. They're still very much stuck in some type of toxic behavior, codependent pattern. Um, they're having some doubts in their mind. Let's clarify this judgment. They know they have to clean up the betrayal. This came up in every single pile, this Ten of Swords. Um, so a lot of betrayal <laughs> happening that they have to clean up the betrayal. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. Knowing that they want to offer you something. A relationship. They may have offered another person a relationship. Um, we're going to take a look and see why they can't take... Well, they want to action passionately, but it's not stable. It's even with the high priestess in reverse, it's not stable action. They want to come forward and heal this. They know you're their destiny, but they're still wavering. They're still in that back and forth energy. They are feeling uh, a need to come towards you, but I don't know how stable this is yet. We're going to get a little deeper, pile three. They're still in a toxic situation. Could be that they're obsessed about you, but devil to me doesn't necessarily mean light <laughs> um they could be third party situation they're still trapped in something clarify that that three of pentacles for me yeah they want to end their regrets here they're they're still trapped in something okay that uh they're not happy i i i i'm feeling here for pile three if your person does come forward is, you know, you've got to hold some strong boundaries with this person because I feel that they're not quite ready, mainly because they have this in and out energy and feeling a little foolish. Like I feel almost like it's from a place of guilt instead of a place of wanting to grow and expand within themselves. It's almost like, you know, how um, you move from one relationship to the next. They're going to need a healing phase. But let's get clearer. Let's get more clear. Pile number three is person. Why is there doubt that they can heal this betrayal? What is this about? There are doubts about closing off this betrayal from the past. This is why, yeah, yeah. They haven't healed, okay? Um, I don't even feel like they've entered the stage of healing yet. They haven't worked and focused on this. We have the four swords in reverse. And usually that for me means that they're coming out of a healing stage. But I feel that they haven't even focused or worked on this yet. That's why they're still stuck and they're still having a lot of doubts. I feel your person is resisting a bit of their healing right now. I feel that they're in a deeper place of remorse. I'm sorry, I'm going to pause that as the plane goes by. Yeah, so I'm feeling like they're not moving on anything right now. I think they're sitting in a place and wallowing in a place of self-pity right now. Uh, because they haven't worked on, yeah, they feel like this is a missed opportunity here. Um, in their heart, they really desire to come towards you and offer this relationship. Let me see. Yeah, but they feel like you're going to reject them. So they're not in the best place, guys. They're, they're still working through their shame and guilt of what they've done to you. They're still working through their shame and guilt and not offering you something in the past. They feel like you're totally going to bite their head off or... You know, they're not worthy of this. They're still going through their own self-judgments here. Uh, they're very unstable in a third-party situation. Could also be that they've been overly celebrating. They're drinking a lot. They're partying a lot. That's actually mostly what I'm getting. And if it is with a karmic person, that's all they're doing. Okay? Like drinking, partying, all of that. And it's creating a very deep instability for this person. And this is why they feel that if they come towards you now and offer you this love and relationship, they know that all they've been doing is like stuffing their feelings down with addictions. That's all they're doing. That That's all they're doing is just having a good, I feel like this person has a lot of growing up to do. I feel like they're still like, you know, thinking that they're 18 and they're like 50 years old, but they're still like getting high and drinking all every night kind of thing. Not like, but with this person is a bad influence, you know, um, you're on the bottom of the deck here, Empress. So they definitely feel you. They want to come forward, but why are they drinking so much spirit? Why are they doing this? Well, 
That's what they manifested. They didn't want to do the hard work, Spirit is saying. They didn't they weren't willing to go to that depth. It caused a lot of doubts and insecurities within themselves. And so they're back and forth. This is why this wavering is happening between, you know, the old lifestyle and like covering everything up and what they're used to doing. And they feel a bit foolish about it. They know that that's and that's why they can't come towards you because they're like, would you even reject that because I'm acting like a child? This person is aware of their behavior, but they're not willing right now to go into the darkness. Let's take a look. It's overwhelming for this person, really. Um, I will, yeah, let's see about this back and forth spirit with this person. Yeah, they're with somebody who is a gold digger. They're trying to untrap themselves right now. But we have a pair here of a king of pentacles in reverse and a queen of pentacles in reverse. I feel this is a karmic relationship that they're trying to untrap themselves with. But it's again, it's a back and forth energy. Money is being lost. A lot of stability is being lost. And this person's not going to be able to upkeep this lifestyle. I'm telling you right now. This ain't going to go on for much longer. This is a very toxic situation they're in. This is not going to happen. Um... This is not going to go on for much longer. All right. The, the, if anything, they're going to burn out pretty damn quick is what I'm seeing. Um, they're going to have to be forced into a healing place out of this, this instability and out of their impatience of their passion and their back and forth and their juggling and their um, delays. Right? They're going to have to persevere through their own procrastination and their own delays as a wound. They're going to have to be wounded. They're still in the wounding stage, right? They still feel like a wounded warrior. And it's going to be a bit abrupt, okay? This awakening is the tower is here now. It's going to wake them the hell up. They're about to come into a tower moment. Your person is definitely coming into a tower moment. This is not sustainable. This is not sustainable. They love you. They want to come forward. But this childish behavior is about to stop you guys. Look at this. So that they can learn to seek more and become curious to heal. Okay. Because they're still toxic in this devil energy here with this three of pentacles. They're still having, um, and they're investing in a marriage in something very traditional. So you may be something very untraditional to this person. You may be somebody that sees relationships very differently than this person does. You may be, um, just very free spirited and this person is not. And so they feel that staying in anything toxic and investing and waiting in that, and building that type of structure there is where they're supposed to be. Uh, it's going to help ease their guilt. <laughs> um, but it's not. Nothing. It's not changing. And it's starting to become very frustrating for this person. Because nothing is changing. They're just getting worse in the toxicity here. Yeah, it's called, exactly. It's what I feel. They're feeling a lot of pain. Like they, they think like this, it'll get better because that's how the world is. This person has a very narrow perspective. They're like, well, this is what everybody does. They just work on it and they just stay where they're at and they just invest and the more work and harder work, if I just keep putting hard work into it, then, and then I'll get my benefits, but it's nothing's happening and it's causing more pain. And this pain is about to come to an end. They're seeing clearly how this pain, uh, this pain person needs to go into their pain. They're starting to contemplate that they, they may have to do this. See fate. This is where God's going to come in. Fate and the wheel of fortune is going to start turning because of this pain so they're at a nine right now they're not quite done with their cycle but it's coming close that tower this tower is coming in fast let's clarify that tower that tower is coming in boy i'm telling you that tower is coming in to end something they're awakening to this connection they're awakening to reunion is coming guys they're coming it's coming it's coming let's get some romance angels this lifestyle is no good anymore whatever they're doing partying, drinking, doing the old traditional married lifestyle, good old nine to five. It's not working. It's not working. Whatever it is, it's not working. And, and that tower is about to hit soon. We're going to see if we can get some, uh, some angel answers to and see if there's a time frame for that, but let's get some, uh, romance. So let's clarify here. This person has doubts. They didn't want to do their work spirit. They didn't want to close up their betrayal and go into their darkness. Pile three. <laughs> But they feel you. All right. This person has a lot of passion towards you. I feel the passion was so strong with this person. They may be like, is this real? No. No. And they kind of scared the crap out of them. They're like, that means I'm going to have to work harder. They took the easy way out. Your person 
avoids a little bit of hard work. I'm going to be honest, okay? Your person avoids not hard work in the material world, but hard work emotionally to evolve their consciousness. They avoid, all right? Um, because whatever is manifesting in their life, um, they want to come towards you, but they're partying too much. It's a third party situation. They feel that you're going to reject them and they're completely unstable. This person's heart toward, they, they want to come towards you. See, they want to keep it nice and easy and flirt with you and come towards you. But they're about to have an awakening here from a marriage. The tower is about to fall. Okay, so somebody is in a commitment. They're doing something traditional and they want to end their entrapment. That's why the king and queen of pentacles came up in reverse here, right? There's something here, which is all about the money, an ego type of foundation um, that they want to entrap themselves in. So there's a huge awakening coming in for something sacred for this lovers. Okay. So this man, and they want you to be their wife, but they know that there's a lot of instability here. They're still trapped. Okay. They're still feeling trapped, but the karma is about to come get their ass playfulness. So this person is not taking this connection too seriously yet. They're trying to still bury their head in the sand. Give me one more of the playfulness. Yeah, they do feel the attraction. Okay, they do feel it. But um, it's not enough right now because of the tradition and the old ways of being are still keeping them very much at bay. Um, they're going to need a tower to break out of this. Okay, the love is strong. Okay, I'm also getting for a lot of you, and you may be recognizing that this person, when they're intimate with another person, they're thinking of you. So if you're picking up on that, yeah, it's true. They think about you all the time because that they can't. Oh dear Lord, they they can't get it up with anybody else. I'm just gonna be honest. All right, that's for that's for some of you. They just can't. They actually have to physically picture you. Look at your go in the bathroom. Look at your picture, and then go back and finish. Like this is what I'm getting for some of them. It's like oh my God, and so they're they're constantly um, thinking of you with that passion. All right, so you may be feeling that. Um, it's causing a lot of this divide that needs to happen in the current situation um, for that tower to come down. Where is Pile 3's person currently in their emotional trauma drama? Spirit, where is Pile 3's person? They don't want to look at it. Look at it. The blank card came out, guys. They are avoiding their work. Can you give me another one? When they decide to look at it, what is it that they got to work through, Spirit? Are you kidding me? They don't want to look at, look at this, guys. The two blank cards in this deck is avoidance. That's why the tower needs to come down. They don't even in the energy want to look at their trauma drama. They don't want to look at the darkness. They are running scared, really hardcore. Wow, guys, wow. This tower, what are they going to have to look at with this tower spirit when that tower hits? Can you give us that? Because <laughs> the two blanks are out. Are you going to give us? What they're going to have to look at? Well, what they're going to have to look at? Codependency, self-love def self deficient disorder. They don't love themselves. Some deep wounding there, okay, about codependency. Addictions, this is what I'm saying. They're drinking, they're doing drugs, they're doing something. There's something that they're just avoiding hardcore. They are so resistant. And this resistance, Spirit is saying, is what's going to cause the demise of everything. Clarify, why are they re so resistant to this work, Spirit? Why are they so resistant? They want to live in illusions. Their illusion feels good. It's what they know. They're too afraid, you guys. And this codependency and this self-love and this tower hits. It's going to break them down, you guys. Okay? They don't feel courageous enough. Their ego's all over the place when it comes to the divine feminine. You're standing in a really powerful place, but this person is really, <sighs> their ego has to completely break to come to this 10 of cups, 10 of cups on the bottom. Okay. They know who you are, but they're, they're having a difficult time even going to their work. It means that it's a brand new path, a fiery new path. And they're, they're arguing with themselves in their head is what I'm hearing um, to get to this point. So that tower is about to hit, okay? Spirit wants you to know, pile three, fate and God is coming in. This tower is coming in. They have to sit in this crap, okay, before that tower can finally come down. Because that tower's got to hit at a precise moment, you know? That just can't hit. They got to, because they've been broken before. This person's got a strong will. So they've been broken before. This has got to hit where they cannot. That karma is going to hit them. They're about to hit the karma they did to you, okay? So that's got to hit at a specific point. 
Let's see, Spirit, for pile number three, what is going on with pile three's person towards the viewer? What is going on with pile three's person towards the viewer? What is going on with pile three's person towards the viewer? One more. Are you going to give me one more? All right. You're going to give me a few more. All right. So let's take a look here. They're going to take action eventually, okay? I feel this is more spirit is going to take action here <laughs> to get them to take action on this romance, but they will take action, but I feel it's going to happen when that tower moment hits. So spirit wants you to kind of have hope in this situation, but um, they're also telling you, the viewer, take action. Do not wait for this person. Take action in your own romantic life right now, okay? Um, look at opportunities in your life. This person okay is also eventually going to do the same okay i almost feel like because especially if you're twin flames you've got to do this first before they do this they got to hit their tower moment they will do this after their tower hits is what i'm getting okay um you're ready for this this person is not ready okay they have to become ready for this there will be a peaceful resolution so right now it is a no okay pile three there has to be a new vibration to come. This person has to be completely broken down. They're very resistant. Um, but if you move forward and you seek the opportunities and take action right now, there's definitely going to be an evol evolution process for you. That's going to bring about this tower. The spirit wants you to recognize that, that if you can do this, their tower is going to come. Let's do the skipper deck. Okay. <laughs> I feel this is definitely twin flame stuff. If you, and I keep hearing that. If you keep moving forward and create your own uh, movement, the tower, it's pushing the tower. You almost, you want this tower to break for this person, okay? It's not wishing bad on people. It's an awakening. You want people to wake up, you know? He, this person has to look at their, their trauma drama here of what they're doing. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I feel like they're just, perp they're not purposely, but they're just creating it because it just feels good to drink all night and then wake up and be like Ugh, and just kind of go along in a zombie place and and that's not what they're here to do on this planet so let's see what's going on with pile three's person with pile three's person towards them please they'll take action when they're ready but they have to have that tower moment especially can you tell us about this tower moment tell us about this tower moment with pile three's person See, Spirit is saying, you have to get this tower moment, this awakening, before you can get such a high honor for this connection. And this is what this person needs to realize, okay? It was a gift. You were a gift. This connection was a gift and a high honor, and this person screwed up. So, <laughs> that's why they feel you, the passion, the, everything is there. They love you. They, they want to come towards you, but they feel like they know they're immature. They're playing an immature game here, okay? In the future, the something is going to happen in the distant horizon, okay? This is a wealthy man. He may be very egotistical about his money, but there's going to be something that happens with you, the mature woman, and this wealthy man. What is going to happen here, Spirit, in the distant future? God is going to come in. This card is like how I see God coming in with two people and breaking things apart. Karmic justice. This is going to be that wheel of fortune, okay, is how I see it. Uh, someone else is going to have to make the decision and it's going to be spirit. All right. That's going to come in and cause a come. Sorry. Shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Cause this despair about what you've lost. You know, this person almost has to come to this point in the future before this can come about. I, I, and it's a high honor and you were gifted this and they're going to get their karmic justice. Is really what I'm saying. They have to change their patterns. Look at this toil and labor back and forth doing the same thing over and over again it's going to change spirit wants to give you hope you uh, how should this person act in their life right now you've got to action your own life right now okay gain gain and look for love and wealth in your life okay they want you spirit to move on into a direction that's going to bring this to you it can be in love it can be in friendship it can be in partnership it can be in work it can be however it is to take action in your life it will bring about a tower moment i guarantee it i feel it it's going to wake this person up like hell okay so that's almost what you kind of want to do to break this pattern there so they do end up like this unfortunately sometimes we have to hit rock bottom to move up unfortunately some humans need to go into some deep suffering i hate that some people need to do that some people need to do that 
until you really wake the hell up and be like, what the hell? This person was such a gift. This connection is the biggest honor ever. Like, what was I doing to wake them the hell up? Okay. Wow. Wow. Pile three intense reading there. They love you, but you know, let's, let's see what messages they have for you. They, they, they got it. They're going to be faced. Spirit is bringing that message through. They're going to be faced. Don't worry. They ain't getting away with nothing. You can't do that in your life to people and um, not feel the repercussions, especially if this is a twin flame, high level soulmate situation. All right. Let's take a look, Spirit. They're not doing what they're meant to be doing. So it's coming. Let's take a look here. What is going on? What message is this Pile Threes person? This is probably from the 5D because I feel that they're still operating from some, you know, darker places right now. But what messages would Pile Threes person like to say to them, please, Spirit? What would Pile Threes person like to say to them, please, Spirit? What would Pile Threes person like to say to them, Spirit? They're sitting in masculine energy. Yeah, they're really much in their masculine. I felt that too. All in their masculine, guys all in their masculine they're really avoiding the feminine right now they can't deal the masculine energy be ready when i return it's going to blow your socks off you won't believe the power i've tapped into so when they have that tower okay it's going to be fast guys all right it's going to be fast quick furious that's it that passion whoo that passion i'm telling you i can feel that that passion is going to come forward real quick for you. And um, the divine feminine's response. I see you. I see my Lord in you. I have dreams of your divinity. I honor the father creator source in you. This love humbles me. So you recognize this, you know, but they haven't been able to tap back into this. But this is what they want to say to you. Let's see what else the masculine is saying here. I'm doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth, okay? That's that wavering back and forth that we're seeing, okay? They're trying. They're trying. But that tower is going to have to hit. Feminine. I believe in God. I believe in me. I believe in you. I trust in divine timing. Okay? Third message from the masculine. I don't contact you because I need to rise up in my power on my own. You deserve a strong masculine to support and protect the power you bring down from the heavens. I'm honored to do this for the, for us. So they know that they have to change, okay? They are completely aware of that. They know that's why they haven't contacted you. They know, okay, what's going on. And here, the feminine's response, I don't understand why we can't talk. Your, your silence is forcing me deeper into a painful place, and it's really hard right now. I miss you terribly. You guys are going through the pain together, you guys. It parallels, okay? What you feel, they feel. And Spirit really wants you to take action and rise up to heighten the vibration. It will pull your person into a tower moment and into this awakening, all right? <sighs> Masculine. You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. Oh my God, yes. That's that beautiful love. And the feminine, your piercing energy recognize my, sorry, my truest self. Sorry, I'll say that again. Your piercing energy recognized my truest self when I couldn't. It illuminated the depths of my potential. I love you beyond any form of existence. Wow, guys. Wow. This person truly loves you. There's a beautiful sacred connection here. Um, there's just still some more awakening, more healing, guys. But Spirit wants you to recognize that this tower is going to hit. And um, you just keep doing you, my loves. If this resonated for you and you would like to go deeper into your situation, hit me up with an email down below. We'll book you in for June. And don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys, if this resonated. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye, guys.